All right, all right, great. Yeah, yeah. I think you all know the shtick already with this. If you're somehow new to my channel still... Well, I'm doing checks on uh, OBS, so that means this kind of is balanced this time. <clears throat> my name is Bellflower. Uh, also Bell or Starlet Bell or Bellflower White Tea. One of those. And uh, this is my B3313 version 1.0.2 now. Used to be original 1.0. Playthrough. Uh, it's been a bit since the last episode. Again. That's like a really bad fate of this series so far. Uh, I made some major fuck-ups in the last episode, though. That I've got to re rectify, apparently. Like, missing an entire level in this area, and also... Fucking missing, like, two stars last episode in, uh... Let's see, what is it? Like, Ancient City? Or, uh, the city... What, what is it called? Not Cave City. Downtown City? I... Could be. Yeah, I think it was Downtown City. Alright, yeah, we mi we missed two stars in Downtown City. This series is unedited, rough, contains random thoughts I have as I play. Just kind of me screwing around. So, essentially, um, I missed two stars here, and I missed a whole level in this lobby. Other than that, I'm gonna have to like very quickly watch back the video to see where I left off. I think it was just at vanilla lobby because I think we had mostly completed a lot of things, but. You know, I'm a little uncertain about it. There's definitely still things to be had in uh, good old Vanilla Lobby region. I don't think we even touched the basement there, which might not be safe, as we we'll, might see. But another thing that I very much so uh, stood wrong on is uh, in my last episode, I said I don't see how a you know, 460 star speedrun would be possible. Fun fact, in my absence, they have done it. There is a full 460 star speedrun out there. It's 19 hours long. Um, but it's possible. Which is great news, actually. That's, that's really happying. That, you know, it's possible. And that people are able to push it to the limits that they have. I myself, actually, in the absence of this, took up a little bit of editing, slight bit of editing, of adding some things to uh, the B3 wiki. Nothing hugely notable to write home about, you know. It's not like I am just the lord and savior of this entire hack. The knowledge keeper of all things B3, you know. But... Sometimes I'll come across a page that's either got some misinformation or is missing some information that I feel like would be good to have on the page. Probably one of the most notable things of it is uh, I actually had conversation in the uh, the section about like possible permadeath as an AI side effect. Uh, was actually removed recently because uh, apparently there's no evidence supporting it and most people think it's just not implemented. Which, honestly, I can't fault them. I kind of feel the same way, but I took the contrarian view of, well, but, you know, what if it was? You know, and I, I reasoned with them, like, you know, because they removed it without giving a reason, so I was trying to really just get them to give a reason for why they took it off the wiki. That just feels like proper documentation and all that, you know, is owed. Especially on something that could just be mistaken as sort of objectable of a removal. 
I actually don't know where this last red is. I mean, here's the, um, you know, the thing. But no, no red coin in sight. I'm probably an idiot, and you guys have probably already seen it, but... Honestly, I was like 50-50 today on whether I was going to upload a wheel episode, or if I was going to upload some backlog footage I have of a Roblox remake of the B3 entire engine. Because they remade Mario 64 in Roblox, like fully, the engine and everything of movement. Um, and someone did a B3 version that has the sound effects, it has the spinny, triple jump, all that. It has the beta castle as a thing. So, yeah. But I was like, I should probably give a full, real episode because of my absence. I'm scared to jump into... Well, okay, first off, I fucked up, but... Okay, it's not imminent death. I was really scared that it would be imminent death, but it wasn't imminent death. That's good. Okay, it's gotta be on the lower level. There's no way in heck it's not down here. Somehow. Who knows, maybe I've already gotten the red coin star and I'm just doing this for nothing. But this last red coin- oh my god, there it is, okay. Well, let's say this last red coin's gonna drive me crazy. Okay, I haven't done it yet. I was like, I probably got the easy one, right? The one that's really easy to know exists because of the five secrets. And then you have the red coins and uh, the other star I have to go get here in just a secie. The future of these episodes is to be determined. I have a lot of projects on my mind right now. I have a lot of things that I'm working on. I'm going through college now. <coughs> God, I need water so bad. I went through college. Um, have that backlog. Yada yada. Uh, might be moving to a edited format finally for this series in the future. It really just depends on if I feel like it or not. This guy tells you don't go in the fucking cave, right? Well, I'm going to do it. So apparently there is a star somewhere out there in the rubble, so I guess, um, go figure that out. I think I made the mistake last time of presuming that there wouldn't be a star in the city, but, I, again, I, uh, might be proven wrong, because the wiki says that there's a star in the city. So I guess, uh, test that theory. Oh, there is. Okay. Cool, in that case, let's go spam the swim button for the hyperspeed swim. And, uh, your goat will go get the star. What the fuck? It's like he, like, buffered his, like, Wow, where he hit the wall and bonked. Anyways, star 100 there. I shouldn't... This Tall Tall Mountain should not be something, right? What the fuck? Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, Royal Lobby on the, the wiki, what the? I just missed a Tall Tall Mountain level. Tall, tall mountain beta. Okay. How many stars are there? One, two, three. There's five. During act one. Okay. Well, we'll come back for act one stars. Let's see. Eight reds, lone mushroom, yukiki, and magic mushroom cave. 
Okay. Well, I guess eight reds is a good place to start, because I can see the rest of the level if I do eight reds. So this really is just beta TTM. Seems like it. Got the same sort of uh, mechanics and gameplay ideas present. You know, the giant mushrooms, the tall mountain. Then that guy flying. I don't think I can escape this hack in a way on this channel. In some way, it's always it always comes back. There is something back here. What? Oh, it's non-wall jumpable. Okay, well, that solves that. No, 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 I'm not getting chucked. I'm not getting chucked. I cannot be chucked. For I cannot be washed. I must be goaded. Okay, I see the lone mushroom star. That one's gonna be easy. Are you- you are an enemy, okay. Hmm. What's this say? Sometimes it feels like the hand of time is pulling or stretching us. However, patience is key. Well, ain't that cryptic? I'm pretty sure that's the magic mushroom cave level that I was talking about on the wiki page. You are not getting my hat again, buddy. Yukiki got my fucking hat last time. Okay, yeah, so we're around- this is like going up the mountain the full way. Yeah, you're not getting my hat again. Okay. Nothing? Okay. Don't go in there, because that's probably a warp away. Bunch of coins. This is the slope. Let me just... Activate speed up to go up the slope. Um... I mean, is that a warp away? It looks like a warp away to me. I don't know, man. Um, is there anything that I can reach up top of the mountain? No, there's nothing up there. That's the way to the star? Is this the way to a red coin? I guess I never went over here, yeah? Whoa, 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 whoa! You can't have my hat! Okay, that's some bullshittery. I 
if I just crawl up behind him. I'm just loading a save state up here. Fuck you. No, 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 I want to kill this Goomba Tower. There we go. Okay, where could... If I were a red coin, where would I be? Would I... I haven't checked over here, have I? Oh, you know what? I haven't checked over here. Okay. Well, that's one of five. Well, one of four. I'll make a- I'll make like a, like a notepad TXT thing where I like say, okay, I gotta come back to this level and this level with Act 1 enabled by waiting on the title screen. So I can get the funny stars. Over 100 stars, we're like... We at least gotta be like close to like 25%. Getting close. 400. Like, we're, we're pretty close. We're pretty close to a quarter of the way there. Uh, I already know what star I wanna do next, I think, unless the waterfall is before the mushroom. Which I feel like it's not, so I feel like this is gonna be a very swift one. Yeah, no, mushroom first. Stop turning like that. Yeah, it's a disorienting to me. I don't want Yukiki to get my hat, so I'm gonna save state here. Cause I can't fucking see. Thank you, Chris Ardlillo, for taking my eyes. Alright, I'm gonna hop on a fly guy or something. There's like a fly guy up here. Right? What do you mean it's AI is programmed to do that type of stuff? It is not. Bro is lying. Bro is not coded to do that. He tried to get me with the fake outs. Now, uh, some of you might be wondering if you've watched the playlist, which, yes, there is a playlist for this whole series if you want to catch up on what I've already done. You know, why did you stop at Nebula Lobby? And that's because pretty much all the Bowser's Hallway is uh, um accessible through a mostly faster-ish route, but also is mostly a series of warps. It's not really anything worth going and star hunting through, because it's really more reliant on going to other areas. And I'd rather save those conjunctional areas like that for later. Excuse me? Oh, is there nothing behind the fucking waterfall here? I must be just crazy to think that then. I must be insane. I mean, I am insane. I'm sick at the game, but I'm also... Yeah, you, you, get, you get the point. And the whole, like, I can't escape this game comment, that's not meant to be like, 
in the same fashion that Chris couldn't escape from this fucking game, or like, any other person. But in the fashion of... I, you know... I enjoy recording the episodes for this. I just... <laughs> Partly, I feel like I won't live down playing through this game as a part of my legacy. <laughs> Which is okay. I'm okay with playing hacks on my channel. For the funsies. Okay, well, we're gonna be back in that level a few times, aren't we? I just collected a random-ass Magic Mushroom Cave star. Climb the giant rainbow mushrooms and fall. Okay. How can you enter it from earlier? Oh, okay. So you can only really enter it from... I see now. Oh, that's a cool camera pan. Also, I hope you guys enjoy my GBJ cube. I've been very experimental with this series about what I put on screen. Whether it be nothing, a PNG, a whole model... You know, it's always been something. We're gonna figure out that Yukiki star soon. I just don't feel like figuring it out now. Because I don't know which Yukiki they want me to get. But... So, welcome to the top of this level. Oh, I see the hut. Well, this is the rainbow shroom. But apparently there's also something else to this area? What the f how was I supposed to know that? How was I supposed to counter that? Oh yeah, by the way, there's a pit here. You can't really tell that there's a pit, but there's a pit. I have had failed, you know, 1.0 attempt speedruns. Uh, and I have continually thought about trying again. And at some point, I might actually, like, really seriously try again. Just gotta find the motivation to do something like that. You know, commit to that. Also thinking about, you know, 460 star for Christmas. You know. Let me down here. Okay. Let me save here. I'm about to get my day fucking ruined by this fly guy. Follow the path of the small shroomies. Of the, you know, the little shrooms. Is this taking me back up? Do I need to be going a different way, or...? Doesn't help that I can't see, but... Oh, shit. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, I can't see very well. I can't even see the animation. But I can tell you that, yeah, I got that star. 
And uh, that's all that matters. And that's the only other star in that cave, which means that now whenever I climb the mountain... Yeah. Catch you Kiki on a ledge near top. Ah, okay. What Kiki, the one that steals the hats, is, um... That's the one that stole our hat earlier. I do genuinely find beta stuff interesting, though, still. Even after this hack's done, yada yada. I hosted a watch party with some friends where I get to show them the gift upon this land that is, uh... Classified. Very much so enjoyed getting to show them one of my favorite pieces of media out there. Uh, I also showed them the Star Taker vlogs and stuff and like breaking the barrier. All the stuff that I would say is essential stuff for viewing for the fun entertainment value of it. And it was, it was a ton of fun. And then I uh, checked out the Warped Worlds uh, fan version that was made using all the released assets after Jifftastic and the whole hack, and uh, wow. I had read that, you know, a level that we'll face way later in the series, probably one of our last levels, um comes from the hack, but I did not expect it to be that, mm, uncomforting. Okay, that is the bad one. That's the one you don't want to, uh, interact with. That's the one do not interact. Let me just chuck the chuck ya. Okay. If I can get him to jump over, I can... Oh, he's clipping through me, for some reason. Hey, I got him! I'll free him. Oh, and he's disappeared. Okay, that's all the stars out of that level. I have officially actually finished this now. Celestial Tower can also be accessed as well as Lunar Tower from here. I'm not too keen on doing either of those just yet, though. Now, depending on how safe or unsafe it is to go to, you know, down here, I might have to start restart the game, of which we would then, why not, enter Act 1. Well, it seems safe right now. Though I get a feeling in about three-ish minutes it's not gonna be, so I might that might be an issue. But uh let's go ahead and start doing shit in the Nilly basement. And that's not including the uh HMC level. Ah, flooded basement. Nothing there to see. And we aren't supposed to be here yet. Anyways. Hey, no spooky evil anomaly can kill me this time. Ain't that lovely. It's, uh, it's one of my top clips on my Twitch channel. Uh, about me getting, uh, fucking destroyed by, uh, Lethal Lava Land's Wrath, which is an uh, entity that you can encounter here. I wonder if by the puzzle completing? No. 
Okay, the puzzle completing does not give a star. Let me actually figure out in, like, the vanilla basement how many stars there are. We've already done an LLL level, but... Basement. Not upstairs or castle grounds or courtyard, just... Just basement. Okay. A warp pipe there and then... Okay. 0 0.7 only. Uh... Let's see. Blazing Bully Base? It says 0 0.7, so maybe not. Apparently, yeah. Uh, oh. Oh, Blazing Bully Base is no longer available, apparently. I can either go to Fire Bubble B-Roll, or, uh... This is, this is gonna be confusing. Or Shoshinkai! Okay, so it... We definitely went to B-Roll last time. Do we each have one star? Because it was definitely Fire Bubble. And it still looks to be Fire Bubble this time. From the red platform, okay. Yeah, this isn't like blind exploration. I would die if this was blind exploration. I would burst. No, nah, this is this is me having access to the wiki and uh, prior game knowledge of these things. Get out of here. So that's B-roll fire bubble. I hate my life. I knew it. I knew this would happen. I knew this would happen. Okay. Oh boy. So, because of this, I have to do something, I think. Oh, okay, hold on. Let me, like, let me see. Settings? System clock. Use this time. Let us set it to, uh, 9.15, but let's set it to, uh, 10.02 a.m., So it should now say that it is daytime? Yeah, okay, well that solves our basement problem. Oh, I should have... Oh, I should have... It's fine, it goes on the list, I'm not corre- oh my god. I'm not correcting the list yet. I will try to have a list of things going. For me to do later. It expands the longevity of the series. <laughs> I heard the music and then the music stopped. And I was like, oh my god. I've been trolled and duped. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> I got trolled again by the glass. Or the walls with the glass, except there is no glass there, because you can go through it. So as far as I can tell, this has fixed our issue. By forcing Parallel Emulator to load 
our system time as a, like, 10 a.m. time slot. We got B-roll, but we didn't get Shoshinkai. And that's gonna be a problemo. Is this... Is this B-roll? Again? I feel like this is B-roll again, and Shushinkai might not even be a thing. Just like a random chance that, like, Shushinkai is just a lie. Oh, I've been warped to Melty Magma Mound, huh? Well, I guess there's technically a way to get to either version, but well, I guess we gotta do Melty Magma. Sorry, Mr. Drake Dugzik of the comments. Uh, you said earlier you don't like this music, but you'll be you'll be hearing it for a bit. <laughs> and you could get here from Internal Sewer System. Okay. Uh, star at the top and eight readies. I'm so whimsical and quirky with what I call them. Eight readies. Speaking of Plexal Basement, I'm pretty sure last time I had a save file, you know, before we had to fix it because I moved PCs. Um... I had a uh, progress on Plexal Basement, and I believe I forgot to restore that entirely. So uh, that'll be fun to go back and replay on um, uh, its own episode. That kind of made, like, what, episode 2 and 1 redundant, since I also didn't fix his domain or the metal cap. There's a lot of things that I just failed to fix. I mean, this is insane, but, like, the length of the hack, you know, like, this shit would be, like, in, like, a world, Book of World Records, you know, like, longest Mario 64 hack in terms of stars. Probably not, in, I mean, probably not in terms of playtime, purely because Kaizo hacks exist, which can take dozens of hours to finish. Even with just, like, 30 stars, if the Kaizo's really that bad. Uh... Could be Shoshinkai. You can never know. You just never know. Bring me back to the mound, though. The mound... There's no way I'm getting to be able to throw that guy off with the... the blargs. The blargs, sponge me boy. You have to stay away from the blargs. And why was that Goomba a fire Goomba all of a sudden? But, uh, yeah, funny beta. Um, if you're, you know, somehow watching at this point, comment, uh, you know, funny beta if you're still here. And, uh, maybe that's how I can tell who watched a certain point in the video. Me, when the YouTuber is doing the engagement bait tactics. I will comply to their wishes. Yeah. 
six, six. I'll admit, this isn't like the most intense song, but I also think that this song's pretty nice. You know, I think this song could be a whole hell of a lot worse to listen to. Okay, I need a save state there. Oh, that just sends you back to the start of the level. There is no point in doing that. That's just there for the haha. Alright, well, I won't be figuring anything out with uh that level for now. So that that's cool. Uh what else? Hazy Maze Cave? Okay. Yeah, it looks like we can do Hazy Maze here. Chromatundra as well. Uh, Lichen Classified. Let's go uh, to Hazy Maze Empty first. So Hazy Maze Empty. Does it have any stars? Oh, it doesn't have any stars. Oh, okay, there's no stars to collect because of that. Okay. So the only other level to visit would be Roma Tundra Beta, I guess. Which has three stars. Okay. There's the classified reference star... And then there's a desert state? I see. So there's the top of the tower, and then there's... Alright, well, let's avoid that. And let's stay strictly on... this. Head towards Bowser's outpost. I know this may sound weird, but honestly, I wouldn't have minded if Shifting Sandland was instead Chroma Tundra. If this was fleshed out more, like the uh, Mips Hole wiki suggests. Just with all the, you know, the dark elements in it. Like, I wouldn't have minded a snow level here instead, and they would have, like, moved Shipping Sandland to upstairs. Because this is sick. And then just no Snowman's Land, because I, I hate Snowman's Land in the actual game. It has got to be, like, my least favorite Mario 64 stage. And that's bold when... What the fuck? Firebombs? Anyways, that's bold when, you know, TikTok Clock exists, and, uh, Rainbow Ride exists. But, I don't know, there's just something about it I don't like. The inside of the pyramid segment of Shifting Sandland is okay, though. And so I feel like that should be kept anyways, rather than a tower climb. But Snowman's Land, it's just, unlike this, it genuinely feels like just another snow level, but we added some weird mechanics that 
We don't really know why we added them, but we added them. All right, take me to the top, baby. Woo! Oh, okay. I thought I had to flip for it. And then there's, um... Stars in... One in each... No, there's two stars in Desert State. Star atop the pyramid, and Klepto is carrying a star in the sandy state where it plays a version of Lethal Lava Land. My hair feels a little weird against my, uh, muffs of my headset because of the fact that I took a shower right before recording this epi. And because of the fact that I took a shower right before recording this episode. You know, my hair is still moist. And, like, the headset loves to just lock that moisture in. Also, the HUD changes in between versions. I swear it does. I'll be in the snowy version and there should be an X next to the... No? Maybe this game's finally drove me insane. I finally started imagining things. It's crazy how all this, like, instant swap magic happens, though. Honestly. Like, it's insane how they managed to do that. How any hack manages to do that, but even how B3 manages to have so many, you know, of them. I don't know how the hell I'm actually supposed to get Klepto, but with these having spikes on them. Oh, his path goes over there. He seems to be encircling the pyramid. Yeah, he's obsessed with encircling the pyramid, and his star is now spawned where it normally would. So I can do that. Angry sun over there. And that's the only stars, apparently. Funnily enough. Well, except for Inside Pyramid. Apparently there's a... Way to get into the pyramid? Um... And it has... Two stars. Highest point and a gap in the wall. Okay. So this is mostly a shifting sandland level, despite the fact that it's... A reference... It's mostly a Shifting Sandland version. That just so happens to also house Chromatundra. Why they chose to just have Shifting Sandland instead of expanding on Chromatundra... I'm classified as beyond me, but... Who knows? Kind of, kind of wacky and crazy. I think I did a full, like, lap around the block in the wrong direction. Yes, I did. I went in the wrong direction to be making any progress, and I, through my triple jump, only climbed one stair. I do like that they have Cave Dungeon playing, though. I like it. Or not ca cave dungeon, illusion cave by New Soup. Okay, I see where the the wall kick star would be. There's no five secrets, there's no I rock fight. Thank god, I 
the Irock fight in this hack really likes to soft block itself already. But uh, I just kind of do that. And I come up here. Oh god, it's one of the ones that follow you. Okay, well, I've, I'm safe saying because I don't know which way is solid ground and which one's a... Okay, both of them are solid ground. I was like, one of these has got to be like a funny haha. -ha, where it's like, there's no ground here, you're going back to the beginning. I've still funny ha ha myself. I don't know how I do it, but I'm like... I'm comedic by nature. I'm a force to be reckoned with in comedy. Unrivaled. Okay, now I've got a better angle of the actual cliffside. And I got an extra one-up. A shame that the, the one-ups don't actually save. Okay. Let's start one of two from inside the pyramid, and the other one's a little easier to get to. <clears throat> less less fuck ups that you have to make uh, sure don't happen to get to the other one. Oh wait, right, I gotta activate desert mode. What's in the box? Coins. Got it. Did these guys catch you on fire now? I know Magma Mound they did. Okay, no. That was just a Magma Mound feature for some reason. I don't know why that that was a feature exclusive to Magma Mound. But. I mean, I know that's an effect that's generally coded. Uh, you know, you got, um... It has a personalization effect I've encountered before. I, I'm going the wrong way again. Let me speed this up. Where, uh, one of the personalization values is Fire or Goombas. And it's really annoying to deal with, usually, you know. Okay, take me across, take me across. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright. I'm gonna save state so I don't have to come back all the way up because of the jankness of Mario 64's wall jump mechanics. And camera movement. Okay, there we go. I think that's literally everything inside of the basement, though. I don't think there's much in there. Anyways, um, let's see. How long is this episode going for? I feel like that could be a good way to, uh, do that. Is there anything else besides, like, the... Red Star level in Basement Maze? Basement Maze... Tubular Lobby is apparently accessible? We'll, um... Come back here. Anyways, I think that's gonna be about it. I know we didn't make too many stars of progress, though this is about on par with most episodes, so... It is what it is. Funny, haha, let me go die now to the turn your system off now level. You know. How long do you think it's going to take before it kills me? Maybe I have to read the sign for it to kill me. Who knows? 
I don't know if there's a clock for killing me. If there's a certain other thing for killing me, like the sign strat that I was speaking of. I don't know if it's if I stop moving that the game decides you must die. But oh, there we go. You must die. All right, the end. Wah.